Hello and welcome to A Beginner's Guide to Free PBX Part 1 Extensions. This video series assumes that you've been given access to an up and running Free PBX system and you just need to know the basic functions of Free PBX. How to edit extensions, how to change names, how to change voicemail passwords, that sort of thing. So we're going to cover that in this video. And I'm also going to go over some bare minimum Free PBX principles just to provide some foundation for working in free PBX. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and log into your free PBX. And the login page is this dashboard page right here. You'll notice the version I'm using is 14.0.13.26. If yours is different, um, yours might look slightly different, uh, but the principles I go over should be the same. You can find extensions under Applications. So this is your extensions page. Extensions are the heartbeat of FreePBX. And again, I'm assuming that your system already has all its extensions built and they're already up and running. You just need to know how to edit some things and adjust some things. I, I will say this, some systems such as school systems have multiple schools living on the same server. So maybe you have a high school, a middle school and two elementary schools and maybe they're all on the same, they're all right here. So maybe the high school extensions are 1000, maybe the middle school extensions are 2000, that sort of thing. That's just something to be aware of as you're looking at all the extensions. You can drop this down here to make it show less or more. And you can use this search bar up here to find specific extensions. So you can type in the actual extension number you're looking for or a name of an extension. And that's a useful feature. So say you want to make some changes to an extension that's already here. You want to go ahead and find that extension. So let's work on 1117 and click this edit key right here. And that'll take us to all the settings for extension 1117. The display name is what will display when this extension dials other extensions on your phone system. So say you're using 1117 and you dial another extension and right now, it would display just the extension number. But if we wanted to change that, we would just change it in this field right here. And it's as simple as that. Once you change the text, you can hit the submit button down here, which will cause an apply config button to appear. And so you wanna go ahead and hit that and that will apply the changes that you just made. So changing a name on a, an extension is as simple as that. The outbound CID or caller ID uh, is generally going to be the main number of your organization. So the main number of your business or your school. Um, this is going to be the number that appears when you dial out. Um, and again, that should probably just stay the main number of your organization. The secret is uh, has to do with your VoIP phone registering to this extension, and we won't really worry about that here. The only other thing I'm gonna cover in this video is voicemail, and you can get to your voicemail settings by this tab right here. Um, this extension already has a voicemail set up, meaning it's selected yes as enabled. Maybe yours is set to no, and you'd like to give them a voicemail. You can do that as easily by selecting the yes button, and then you can uh, type in a password for that voicemail so that when they press the voicemail button on their phone uh, the prompt will, will say password and then this would be the password that they would input. A lot of times users may forget their password. They can, they can change this in their settings but say they forget it. You can log into the extension here and change that password right here or just see what it is and you could change that, hit submit, hit apply config and that would update the password. Um, the only other thing I'd say is that this re require from same extension feature, we recommend that say yes. That just means that the user will always have to type in their password when checking their voicemail. And uh, that's just a good security feature we would recommend. 
Um, hope this video helps you in uh, changing the name and changing the voicemail settings on, uh, on an extension in FreePBX. Thank you.